In this short video tutorial, I will cover how to connect your BuddyBoss account to your OneSignal account for your web push notifications for existing customers. OneSignal has changed the capabilities of their user authentication keys. If you have previously used OneSignal, then this will be a small change that you will need to make. Due to the change, this means existing customers that have OneSignal connected will no longer be able to use the previous authentication method to fetch your app's security keys. As such, we will not be able to trigger API requests to OneSignal to then trigger web push notifications. This change is due to OneSignal's new authentication method update. If you're setting up your OneSignal and push notification for the first time, then you will need to watch our previous video which explains setting up an account and adding your app. You will see the link for that video here in the top right screen. Now let's go to the WordPress backend so I can go through making these changes. Here we are in the WordPress backend under BuddyBoss integrations and OneSignal. First off, if you have an existing OneSignal setup, you will see this notice at the top asking you to enter a new API key in order to resume sending web push notifications. If you click on the link here, you'll be redirected to the exact page to set up your OneSignal. As you can see on this page, you need to enter your OneSignal app ID and REST API key. To get this information, let's go to our OneSignal website and log in to your account. Click on the app you previously created and then go to settings. First, under the platforms tab, let's click settings for the active web platform. If you haven't already, change the integration from typical site to custom code. Enter your site name and site URL and then upload a default icon that will be used for the soft prompt of your site. Once done, click save and then finish. If this is your first time creating an app or you just want to create a new app from your web push notifications, just go to the homepage of your OneSignal account and then click this button to create a new app. Assign a name to your app and then select web and then click next you'll be redirected to the same page we've just configured earlier. Then we will follow the same steps. Select custom code, enter the site name and site URL, and then upload your default icon. Now we are back on the settings page of our app. This time, let's go to keys and IDs tab. Right away, you will see your OneSignal app ID and REST API keys. I will copy these and paste them back into my WordPress site. Then I'll click Save Settings. And just like that, you have now updated your OneSignal account connection on your WordPress site and the web push notifications will continue to work.